Good morning, guys. I'm walking towards our septic mound, and we have these wild bunnies. Like a whole bunny family that's shown up lately. Let's see, I saw one over here. That was it, if you heard that. Don't know if it caught it. <laughs> but it was right over here. That's the next area we're gonna clean out. Once we're done over here, lots to show you. And I noticed we have a banana bloom coming out. There it is. Its head is just sticking out. There's another one. So cool. I'm in the old pen that floods. I wanted to check it out. Like that. It's not pokeweed, but it is something. It looks familiar. I have to look, I'll have to pull out my old, uh, wild Florida book but looks like I got a uh, papaya growing here and then I noticed this is my beauty berry bush I noticed lots of flowers on that and come around here Okay, so I wanted to check the bananas on this side, but I also wanted to show you this tree is our elderberry. And we notice we have elderberry everywhere. All right, so I wanted to check. Sorry, this is, I really don't want to go in here. And I gotta be careful of that. That's uh, Virginia creeper. I'm allergic to that. And that's all over the place. Definitely need to get the mower in here, but there's one banana rack. And then I noticed, let's see here. Looks kind of safe. This is the old uh, pig stall. Pig pen. I'm gonna use that to get rid of all these spider webs. But I wanted to get a view of all the animal trip. Now look there. Look all in there. I'm gonna have to set up a trail cam. I guarantee you. I got deer back here. But got another banana rack over there too. These big tall thorny things, they're like dandelions. I don't know exactly what they're called. Got things biting me, bugs all over the place. These have really sprouted. But this is what happens when you leave things alone in Florida. It becomes a jungle. But you can tell by the indentions, there's um, things that have been uh, nesting in here and up against here. Look how, look at that. So, pretty big too. That's why I like the high up view. But yeah, I'm gonna have to put the trail cam up in here, I think for a day or two. Just to see what's sleeping out here. But you could tell there's indentations all in there. I don't see 
you know wildlife footprint. Yeah. All right, inside our septic mound garden, but that one banana. There's that short flag leaf. You could always tell when your banana is ready to push out. There's a couple different ways. One is the base of the of the banana trunk gets super fat. So I already can tell this one's getting ready to push out a bloom here soon, but it's at the bottom, so it's gonna be a little bit. Another way is you'll notice that you'll have one short leaf which is this one sticking straight up because all the other ones as you can tell they're super long then another shorter leaf comes out that one right here that's called the flag leaf then the bloom pushes out and that's what's happening right now the bloom is um, I showed that to you earlier the bloom is pushing out but we got some more tires from friends of ours. Um, they were cleaning out a shed and they asked if we wanted tires and we said yes because we're gonna actually build all these tires too high now because we are definitely growing more and more food on the mound. So I put some here. So once um, we're able to start filling them, we'll do that. I still in the process, ugh. I'm still in the process of weeding out the garden beds, but I was able to get some done Sunday. And this is the cucumber. <clears throat> Let me go on the other side for it. The sun's not in our faces and it helps. <laughs> there it is. There's our cucumber vine. We harvested some last night. We do get what's called boring worms and we found we have to use a certain pesticide to keep them at bay. Um, we can't really use it right before rain. You're supposed to use it like after rain, um, which we've been doing, but um, all in all, we still get a lot of cucumbers. And then over here, here is the buzz button and this we are not sure what this is it I'm not sure if a seed got mixed up when we planted this stuff like it was in the package but um, yeah we have no idea this was supposed to be a cucumber, but we're not sure what it is. We think it's some type of squash. Um, we're gonna just let it grow and see what happens. I do have two chocolate baby bells that came up. One is right here and there's a little bell. And then this one right here. So there, I have at least two chocolate baby bells in here. Um, I was able to clean out my butterfly pea, which I'm gonna have to harvest here today. And I was able, this is um, to get all this too. This is the purple Thai basil that was given to us. Uh, I can't remember what the name of that one is. <laughs> And then look at my sunflowers. Big, beautiful. That one's hanging over. That one's just huge. Nothing came up in this one except for ants. Ants. But yeah, that's a mammoth there. Pretty, pretty sunflowers. The beans are doing great. Um, we were able to harvest two yesterday. Um, they're doing great. I was able to weed out. Um, that is rabbit manure. So we were able, were able to start using the rabbit manure. 
but holy cow, that is a huge, huge, huge head. So these guys are doing good. You're a weed. You know what I'm there. Um, I got some more over here. We got some more beans. These are the smaller um, sunflowers. They grew kind of funky. I'm not sure what that is until I can identify it if it's a weed or not. I'm just gonna let it be. But yeah, you can tell I got beans growing. And up over here, today my goal is to at least try my best to get the tomato row cleaned out, find out which tomatoes didn't come up. But yeah, look at the gorgeous tomatoes. Gotta find out which tomatoes didn't come up. And I'm going to then take some of the baby starts over here find which ones say tomato on them if I can read the sticks anymore <laughs> and get some of these into the ground this is the sweet potato more tomato plants this is the white potatoes we're trying to grow that this year um, this was originally my mint bin, but it didn't come up, so we got dill, some type of basil, this is, oh no, Malabar lemon balm, alright, so that's lemon balm, that I know is the tiny, um, that's not pigeon pea, somebody put the wrong tag in there. Oh no, it is a basil. It's like a small basil. <laughs> Donald's, uh, um, what do you call it? Pepper Garden is coming along. Here's the other, oh my goodness. Ooh, you guys need some help. I need to put up some string. I really need to get in here this morning. And then these are my soybeans. And you can tell when they're ready by how hard they are. So the, a lot of these are ready and they start losing the fuzz. And I have a lot, a lot. Um, this is our jumbo peanuts have gone wild. I mean, it's overflowing. I <laughs> think about taking some of them out and just planting them straight into the ground. <laughs> Here is my herb garden. <laughs> I figured out this is going to be basil that's sage one of these is supposed to be oregano and then rosemary and I think this I don't know which one's which I had little baby seeds coming out like this tall and they've just kind of disappeared so I may have to replant that um, then over here is our pineapple garden. What's left of it? <laughs> no, we got pineapples in here. It's uh, another thing we got a hand weed. But, um, I also have these purple cone flowers that are just really, really pretty. Alrighty, I got one row of tomatoes weeded and strung up and it is hot out here and it's not even 9 30 so i'm gonna go inside get some water in me and then hopefully later today i can attack this side <laughs> yay me all right we got some cucumbers These are the pickling ones. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna can them, or not can them, but I'm gonna slice them up with the spears and then I'm gonna put them into this jar of pickles that we still got one left in there and let them sit. It looks like she's squished. Hey, 
Come on. Another one. Mama, you gotta move your butt. Really, Mama? Mommy. Are you even alive? <laughs> Your mama's gonna squish you to death. Come on, Mama. Come on, move your butt. Oh my God. Mama, you gotta move your butt. Did you say Clyde needed water too? Uh, no, Clyde's fine. It's just Lydia and, and uh, Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Swishy. <laughs> Baby boy. What you doing? Yeah, in the weeds. Get ducks. Did you guys find some water? Baby boy, my duck ducks. Did you happen to find the ditch? Does it have water in it? Where are you guys going? Okay, and the last part of the garden, <sighs> another thing we got to weed still, kale is not doing good, summer is in full fledge, last year kale did, the dinosaur kale did really really well, and I think that's this here, because we did two and a half row, or no, one and a half row of each one, I know that's the red Russian kale. This is the dinosaur kale. Dinosaur kale does better with the heat. Then I want to say that's the sorghum, Mennonite sorghum. This should be the baby corn. And then we have Job's tears, um, if I'm remembering it right. But I have a funny feeling the baby corn may bolt because of the temperature. It's in the 90s now. My cranberry hibiscus row has come up. Super happy with it. Um, look here. This is what cotton flowers look like. I am growing cotton. This is a cotton plant. They're in between there and some there. And then I have my red sorrel. But the cotton that came up is doing really good. This one's got a bunch of buds on it. So I'll have, for fun, I do that. For fun, I, I just grow the cotton. There's something there. That's a volunteer. You look familiar. Hmm. Um, this is a pigeon pea that um, Donald planted. Over here is a lemon and a lime tree. Lemon and lime. 
Loquat's doing great. Uh, we just haven't gotten to this yet. We're gonna be tearing that down, or not tearing it down, but tearing off all the plastic here. Back up front. That berry bush is doing great. I have all these wonderful muscadine grapes growing on. Look at that. I mean, totally gonna be happy with grapes this year. But, I don't know, we're slowly getting to it. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get working and uh, try to uh, weed out the uh, tomatoes and get that going so I can start planting more and we'll see where it takes us. So slowly but surely, we're getting back into the normal routine of things, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.